In John chapter 10, verse 27, Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. Often believers ask me, how do I hear the voice of God? And when they ask me, there's this desperation, this fear, this paranoia to their question. Probably one of the most powerful revelations I can give you concerning the voice of the Holy Spirit is this. You already hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. The question is not, can I hear the voice of God? The question is, am I a sheep? Do I belong to Him? Because Jesus made it very clear that if you do belong to Him, if you are His sheep, then you will certainly hear His voice. So then it's not a matter of hearing God, but recognizing God. An example of this is found in 1 Samuel chapter 3. When the prophet is first being called by God, he mistakes the voice of God for the voice of his leader. After a few times, God speaks to him, and he realizes this is the Lord speaking to me. He knows this to the instruction of Eli. So, he says, speak, Lord, for your servant hears. And then he begins to hear the voice of God clearly in his life. I believe he's talking to you right now. I believe that he is speaking to you right in this very moment. God is saying something to you. God is speaking to you through His Word. God is speaking to you by His Spirit. So how do you begin to recognize that voice? Well, you have to silence all of the other voices around you. And really, categorically speaking, there are only three voices that will speak to you in life. That is the voice of the secular, the voice of the satanic, and the voice of the Spirit. Now, we know the voice of the Spirit because it aligns with the Word of God and the nature of God. The satanic contradicts the word of God. The secular, a little more subtle, contradicts the nature of God. But as you commit yourself to the reading of the word, as you commit yourself to the places of prayer, there are no shortcuts, there's no formula that I can give you. It's a matter of devoting your time to the Lord. And the more time you spend with Him, the more you begin to recognize His voice. The more time you spend with Him, the more the other voices in life begin to become quiet. And as those voices become quiet, the whisper of the Holy Spirit becomes clearer. And you begin to walk with confidence knowing that you can clearly hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. I'm David Diga Hernandez, and that is your Moment of Truth. For more free content like this, sign up to my emailing list by going to davidhernandezministries.com slash email. You're going to get a free video from me every single week as well as a worship video from Stephen Moctezuma. Sign up today. It's 100% free. Again, davidhernandezministries.com slash email. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.